coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. Tubbs unravels a ring of dirty cops in the episode Badge of Dishonor. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 14th to March 20th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 16th, in the final days of the Iran-Iraq War, the Iraqi military attacked a Kurdish city with chemical weapons, killing between 3,200 and 5,000 people, mostly civilians. Referred to as Bloody Friday, the attack is seen as the event in the Anful Genocide against the Kurdish people. The attack would be referenced in the trial of Saddam Hussein in 2006, before his eventual hanging. In music, Rick Astley holds the top spot in the Hot 100 for one more week, so we go to the archives. There's a song I've missed for the last few weeks, and it's unforgivable that I haven't mentioned it. Although at this point, 1988, his popularity is sliding slightly, it's still a classic. From the amazing hip-hop trio, Salt and Peppa is Push It. Released on the album Hot, Cool, and Vicious, the song would peak at number 19. After being nominated for a Grammy, the song would help push the album to be certified platinum and is easily one of their top hits. In movies, believe it or not, Good Morning Vietnam has reached the end of its reign at the top of the box office. What's even more unbelievable is that Police Academy Assignment Miami Beach would be the movie to supplant Good Morning Vietnam. Starring a collection of the cast from the previous films, it's most notably missing Steve Gutenberg, who was busy filming Three Men and a Baby. Thankfully, although the movie reached number one, it's universally panned by critics and theatergoers. Yet somehow, they mustered the strength to make yet another Police Academy the very next year. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.